Moses joining us on the desk now with our first look at sports and one Lakeland fighter came out with a prof uh, an impressive outing rather. Oh you bet uh, you know the aggression fighting championships were in Edmonton their 14th event uh, held last Friday where Cold Lake's Tim Camelli earned his 10th career hmm. MMA victory. Hmm. Matt Schumont has more on the win. Tim Camelli was victorious last Friday, earning a second round knockout over Mike Kent. Not only did Camelli earn fight of the night, he also picked up his first knockout win in over a year. He came in for a, I thought it was a sloppy shot myself in the second round, and I just transitioned him off the cage and hit him with an uppercut, and pretty much all she wrote. To finally finish somebody, I don't think I, don't think I finished the fight besides going to the decision in a a couple years, it's, it was a pretty good feeling, I'm not even going to lie to you. Preparing for the fight, Camelli was really working on his striking, and it showed knocking out his opponent just a minute into the second round. The train with Cadro there is awesome, like it's uh, something I definitely plan on continue doing, training at Frank Lee's. It's uh, definitely upping my game, right? Like uh, we talked about the next fight that's coming up here, and I'm going to have to even step it up even more and start hitting other clubs in Edmonton as well, right? With the win, the AFC was quick to announce that Kameli will now be fighting for the light heavyweight title against Razak Al-Hassan on March 23rd. It's a great opportunity, you know. I'm pretty sure, you know, like he's been where I want to be and I'm pretty sure the winner of this fight is, is moving on to bigger and better things, right? And it's just it's a huge opportunity and I'm, I'm not going to let this pass me by, that's for sure. Matt Schumont, New Cap Sports. Well, thanks a lot, Matt. Let's move on. The Lloydminster Bobcats sit idle in what is a quiet night on the AJ front with only two games on tap, one involving the Bonneville Pontiacs. Uh, they'll take on the Spruce Grove Saints on the road. The Ponts have beaten the Saints in two previous meetings. This one, however, has a Lloydminster connection as the Baker Hughes Bobcats defenseman Connor James will suit up for the Saints. Puck drop is at 7 o'clock at the Grant Fuhr Arena. The Lakeland Wrestlers women's volleyball team has improved to 8-0 and with that have shot up one spot in the Canadian College rankings. Now sitting in 12th in the nation. The McEwen Griffins are still at number one. Surprisingly, considering their 7-1 and and their strength of schedule was not as hard. Nevertheless, both the Griffins and Wrestlers do battle this weekend in a home-and-home -home starting this Friday at Lakeland Gym. So that could change depending on the outcome. The Humber Hawks and the Fraser Valley Cascades round out the top three. And the Red Deer Queens move up four spots from 11th and actually swap places with the Nate Ooks from Edmonton.